this one right here. There we go. Okay, it just says it. She's okay. Hey y'all, I just wanted to hop on here and share a few DIYs that I made for my granddaughter and to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. The first is a simple cupcake ornament because it's been one of her favorites since she was really small, which is why my husband calls her Cupcake. So all I did was hot glue a plastic ornament from the Dollar Tree to the bottom of a baking cup, positioning it so that the cap would be at an angle, and then glue the top edges around the ornament. I glued a berry from a stem on top, Next, I added white puffy paint to the top to look like icing and finished it off by sprinkling seed beads and tube fetty onto the puffy paint while it was still wet. They look so stinking cute on her tree. I've seen many people make these lollipops. We call them suckers around here. So to make her a couple of those, I used a pack of styrofoam discs from Dollar Tree. I used one of the discs for tracing a peppermint type pattern. Starting with the dark color first, I painted every other row. I sprinkled matching fine glitter while the paint was still wet. I flipped it over and tapped the back to remove the excess glitter. To make it look more like a peppermint, I went back and freehanded a stripe through the center of every white section. And I added more glitter. It's best to let the darker color completely dry before moving on to the white because if you don't, then the two colors will mix and you won't get the detail that you want. I used cookie sticks from the baking section at Hobby Lobby and poked it in there, but I suggest using something pointy first to make the hole before sticking it in there. If not, you could possibly poke a hole through the side of it. Ask me how I know. I wanted to make two more suckers, but differently, so I started by rounding off the edges with a box cutter, and then I remembered I have an electric foam cutting tool that I've never used, so I used it to finish it up. This thing cuts like butter, so it'll definitely take some practice. So I poured these gravity-defined balls, foam balls, into a plate, and a tip is to spray some hairspray on them and it makes them a little bit more manageable. Next, I took my tacky glue and squeezed it on the disc and used a brush and brushed it on. Then I put it glue side down into the plate. I flipped it over and then filled in any empty spots by hand. It was a little time consuming, but I got it done. And I also used those same cookie sticks. Oh, and she was happy to find that it does work. To make some popsicle sticks, I used packing foam. I traced around a spool of ribbon and drew straight lines down from each side using a ruler. I used my foam cutting tool to cut out the shape. It was a little wonky, but I sanded it with a sanding sponge to smooth it out. A serrated knife should also work to cut it, but I'm trying to get the hang of this thing. I cut a small slit in the bottom with my Cricut knife, and I used my miter shears to cut a medium popsicle stick down to the length that I wanted. I added a little bit of tacky glue to the slit, put the popsicle in, and then I'm ready to paint. I mixed red and white apple barrel paints together to get the color I wanted and gave it a good coat. Then I did the same thing as the cupcake by adding puffy paint and sprinkling sea beads and tube fatty on top. I let it lay flat to dry before finishing the sides and the back. For hanging, I just took an eye pin used for jewelry making and stuck it in the top. I wanted to make her a swag for her door using a white tree from the Dollar Tree. So I took the tree out and fluffed the branches to one side and removed the plastic piece on the end. I cut seven or eight strips of mesh at 10 inch lengths and I rolled the mesh and laid it across and just twisted the branches around it to hold it in place. I did this throughout the tree. I bought this wooden nutcracker from Hobby Lobby 
Remove the tag and beard and tape the hair back with masking tape. I removed the sword because I decided not to use it. I painted everything white except for the face and the chin. I went around the brim of the hat with a silver paint marker and those little knobby things. I also painted the shoulders and the cuffs. I pushed the marker point down on paper to release some of the paint so that I could use a brush to paint the finer details and get down in places where the marker wouldn't reach. He didn't have tall boots, so I taped around his legs so that I could paint the lines to look like the top of boots. I also painted the bottom of the boots and around the base with the silver. Then I added boot laces. I added a few details like a collar to his jacket, not sure where that footage went. I added a snowflake from a pack of stickers I had to the front of his hat. I removed the tape from his hair and hot glued his beard back on. I added a ballerina to the top of the tree with a tie strap and then placed a bow I made from tulle to the top. I placed a ribbon through the back of the nutcracker and glued it closed and tied it to the center of the tree. I thought these ornaments could be suckers, so I removed the cap and drilled through the holes to open them up so I could put cookie sticks inside. To make it look cleaner, I glued a strip of ribbon around where they joined. I took a longer strand of ribbon and glued it to the top of the stick and spiraled it down and glued it at the bottom and then I attached a bow. I put the two suckers beside the nutcracker and stuck a snowflake stem into the hollow tube of the tree at the bottom. I hot glued a cupcake and a few other ornaments down to make it look fuller. I flipped it over and took two of the branches on the back and twisted them together so that I could hang it. That's it. It all turned out so stinking cute and she loved them all. Merry Christmas, y'all, and thank you so much for watching.